Space battles in Destiny would be amazing. Looking at this cutscene, it is just fantastic. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this cutscene and was just overly hyped. I know I was. But as we know, we don't have space battles in Destiny. But if they were to implement it in Destiny 2, here are some concepts and ideas of how it might work. So let's get into it. Now, all these concepts were created by yours truly. And if we could get to 20 likes on this video, that would mean the absolute world to me because this took a really long time and this is probably the thing I'm most proud of. Okay, let's start with the basics. We have some basic ship classes. We have your small, medium, and large ships. So let's start with the sloop, the smallest ship class. They're great for speed and flanking your targets. Then we have your jack of all trades, kind of well-rounded ship the lugger class which focuses heavily on repair time aka recovery and then we have your big macho smack class heavily focuses on armor not too great on repair time or speed alrighty those have been the ship classes but let's take a quick little look on the controls it'll be like your generic like you're flying a plane and like a video game with like all the sticks and stuff but then your right bumper will be your ordnance so like your missile then your left bumper will be your tactical ability, rather it be like a shield or cloaking or something. And then we have A button as boost, and then we have switch weapon and reload the same. And uh, also the arrows will do side boost to dodge your enemies, and the up and down will divert power. We'll talk about that in a second. So here we are, we're really getting into the meat of things. Here is a ship concept that I made, like the stats and stuff. And this is for the ship Plasma Donor. So starting with the top, we have 400 attack, and this ship is more proficient with solar weapons. Then we have some pretty good armor, really low handling, and some pretty good speed right there. Then let's quickly go over the perks. We have our good ol' infusion node right there, so infusion would work the same right now with ships. And then we have Cloak Now. Quickly receiving heavy damage makes this ship cloak for a short time. So if you're getting really pounded, you can have a chance to cloak and uh, get away. Then the perk underneath that, we have reflective plating, a small chance to ignore all damage received. So if someone just like does this huge nuke attack, you have a very small chance to just ignore all damage. So that's pretty great. Then the perk on the top of the next column, we have the cluster effect. Gives your ordnance ability a cluster bomb effect, so it just keeps rapidly exploding no matter what missile or ordnance you might have equipped it. Then the perk under that, we have Solar Defensive System. Automatically shoots a low damaging beam on enemies that are very close by. Then, covering these last two quickly, the next one makes it where when you boost, you leave a fire trail, so those, you kind of leave like a Tron bike trail, a fire that stays for a little while so you can damage people you boost pass and then the other perk it helps your ramming now this is what your ship screen would look like if you pause it pretty much like when you pause it and you see your guardian and stuff we have your primary weapon some sick gatling guns and then we have your secondary weapon just a generic little missile launcher sort of thing then we have the ship itself your level your light then we have a nice ship shader going on so that would be really cool if that was a thing and then under that we have an exotic tactical ability, we'll cover that later. And then your ordnance, just a whole bunch of cluster missiles right there. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Gantling gun, it's called the Annihilator. The Lord Judges I Act. We have 400 attack, dealing solar damage. We have maximum rate of fire, because this thing would just be spitting out bullets. Okay impact, range isn't too great either. It's pretty stable though. And then we have your generic perks like you'd find on any other gun, like persistence and stuff. But then its exotic perk, simply annihilate. This weapon does not need to be reloaded. So you just fire from your reserves and dump everything all the time. Now, going back to the ship screen, I didn't actually make super in-depth like stats and stuff for your secondary rocket launcher we see here or the tactical ordnance we see right there. I can pretty much just send them up as any type of weapon can go in your primary and secondary slot. And the rocket launcher we see there isn't like super high powered or anything, but you get probably like 20 shots 
and it's just kind of medium explosions. And then our ordnance with those uh, missiles over there, it just fires a volley of just probably like 10 missiles at a time. And it's, it's just crazy with that cluster bomb effect perk we talked about earlier. Moving on to our exotic tactical ability, we have the Spark Shield. This is a shield core. In this slot, you could put things like a damage boost, a speed boost, or things to help your, like, cooldowns and stuff for your allies. The quote reads, Defense and Offense Guardian from Commander Zavala. And then we have the infused thing, like before, that look work pretty much the same. And the shield, it's not the strongest, but it recovers quickly. So that's what we see right there with those stat bars. On activation and deactivation, Spark Shield explodes. So whenever you uh, activate your shield, it does this big explosion and it can hurt enemies nearby. And when your shield just times out or breaks, then it also explodes. And there's so many other things I could think of and combinations and just amazing things they could implement if they simply made space battles in Destiny. Now, I know everyone might not want space battles, but to me, it would be absolutely amazing. I drew up a quick little sketch of what your HUD might look like as well. This is just hilarious, but let's take a look at it. So you got your ship in the foreground right there. You got your crosshairs right there. I would make your crosshairs like the fusion rifle, just nice and kind of open. And right now we have our Gatling gun equipped, and we still have our super bar because I would have it where our existing supers right now, like Defender, and Golden Gun, and Nova Bomb, they would work pretty much the same way, but with our ships as well. So you'd still be able to launch your Nova Bomb, do like a nuke blast out of your ship, you'd be able to do Golden Gun, get like three powerful shots or whatever, and then like Defender, you could rather like place a shield and you just have to like kind of do circles around it or you just shield yourself something like that but it would be really cool to have those supers still work with our ship so just think about that for a second fist of havoc would just do like a huge lightning just like shock wave out of your ship i really don't know how hammers would work though what like your ship just fires hammers out maybe but that seems a little dorky and then uh blade dancer you would just like plow through and just like boost through a ton of ships dealing uh lightning damage and then kind of the same thing with storm caller but you just chain a ton of lightning off and stuff and you could pretty much do that with all of them anyways then we got our radar and stuff and then over on your right you see this little power meter i don't know if it'll work exactly like this but when we talked about diverting power early in the beginning you could just divert your ship's power to focus more on your guns but you have less health for your shields or go shields if you're in a bit of a pickle and not worry about shooting so you can recover from your battles. So a little power diversion thing there. So there you go, there's the HUD and just think about all the activities that could include space battles. Crucible with space battles, story mission with space battles, strikes with space battles, and raids with space battles. I don't know how that would work exactly. But just imagine how the King's Fault raid would have been if you had to assault the Dreadnought with your ship first. That would be just mind-blowing. Also, just all the little things, like all the new enemies and stuff they could add, like little fallen fighters and Vex spaceships. We haven't seen those at all. That would be absolutely lit. And just, it would be amazing. And all the amazing weapons, Gatling guns, lasers, rifles, snipers, uh, spaceship shotguns, um, like Goss's rifles, like slap your sleeper simulant on the side, like so many possibilities. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please show your support. And if you want to see any more content like this, subscribing would be great. And uh, if you want to see a concept of your own made, like, hey, how would like more vehicles work in Destiny or like anything you could think of, I can make a video on it. So go ahead and do that. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.